Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial we'll be using lots of masking tape to create many layers on top of each other, creating a very simple but yet dynamic abstract painting. For the background layer I'm just adding different spray paints and I'm trying not to press too hard on the cap and thereby creating this sort of blurry background. Because I'm spraying indoors, I prefer to use spray cans that are water-based and not chemical-based because they don't stink as much. But still remember, you always need to wear a mask. I'm using the spray cans from Amsterdam, but I'm not affiliated with them in any ways. Unfortunately, I didn't record the step where I threw some white and dark blue paint onto the background layer. But once it was completely dried, we added some masking tape to create this square inside the painting. That's gonna be the border for our second layer, where we're gonna add a few details and different colors to start creating more of a dynamic painting. For the second square we're using more of a yellow tone and I made sure to also put masking tape on the square that we did before so it looks like the new square is going underneath the older one. This green tape I'm using is called green frog tape and it gives you really crispy edges. It's not translucent, so if I need to trace something, then I prefer using tape from 3M or from Tessa. They're also very good, but this one is perfect if you want some really clean edges. For this layer, we're going more with a light bluish touch to complement the yellow that we have already created. When I was applying the green masking tape before, I was like, you know what, this painting can really use some green. So that's what we're using now. We're using some emerald green, but instead of painting it, we're using a scraper and sort of scraping it over the canvas, creating this very nice effect. Now we're going to cover all the squares that we just created because we want to put some more contrast in the background and make it more interesting so these squares can really pop out of the painting and look really cool and strong and powerful because right now there's not a lot of contrast between the squares and the background. And in order to do so we're going to use a similar effect like in my last painting where we're going to create this fading effect and we're going to go from different angles and use different sizes to create this. So you apply masking tape in the first layer and then you spray a very fine coating of spray paint on top and then you keep adding masking tape to those areas 
and thereby you increase the darkness of the painting step by step, creating this fading effect. This will be the final layer of the fading effect and just make sure that the last layer is very very dark because it's gonna look really cool and powerful and I'm excited to show you how, how it looks once everything is revealed. Isn't it crazy how much brighter the painting looks or the squares just by adding black into the background layer? Now these different squares, they actually really pop. And to make them pop even more, what I like to do is add like a thin black border and that's what we're doing now. It also cleans up the edges in case there's any paint that got underneath the masking tape and it doesn't look as clean. In terms of markers, I like to use the ones from Montana. They're acrylic based, they have good opacity and overall also their colors are really nice. So that's what I usually use. You might notice that I have more camera angles in this video than I did in my previous ones. That's because I'm trying to add new value and better quality videos to you every time I upload. I hope this is something you also enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you actually noticed or not, or if you have any improvement ideas. And now for the final layer, I always say it's important. Don't let an opportunity to create more contrast go to waste. And that's why we're just adding these two simple white lines, but I feel like they make the whole painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment how you think this painting turned out, have a nice day and bye bye.